racial potential George Floyd situation here. Um, you're getting it first here on Op Nation, man. Everybody hit the like button, man. All right, Austin, thanks. This morning, a Shreveport family is demanding answers after their son's near drowning at a lake, Lake Darbon, with friends. And joining me this morning is the family, Christopher Gilbert's mom, along with the family attorney, one of the attorneys, Claudia Payne. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's talk about Chris. Uh, what happened? When did you get the call? So, yeah, man, so white people did something to you, black, or if you was in a situation where things didn't go perfectly with a white person, you get the floor. The floor is yours. Cancel what segment we had when we was going to bring so-and-so in to talk about um, floor arrangements and puppies. X that. We got a black family that's been, that, that was around some white people and shit went left. I got the call possibly around uh, 8 on April 14th on a Sunday. Uh, a friend of his called and she was hysterical crying on the phone. She told me that um, Chris had fell into the lake and he had been underwater for 20 minutes or so. And I was like, oh yeah, 20 minutes underwater, man. Like, I hate to say this, man. That's a long fucking time, my G. Like, it's, 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 that's, that's, that's a long time, man. 20 minutes? Yo, the brain, somebody who's a doctor or something, somebody who got some, how long can the brain go without oxygen, man, before it's irreversible? Like 20 minutes. Why was he under the water for 20 minutes was my first reaction. And she was just like, oh, my gosh, she just kept crying hysterically. And I was like, what is it? He's being airlifted to Shreveport. Mm. Um, you know, we immediately started calling around, trying to find out where would he be, where would he go, and they informed me that the only trauma unit they have is Oshner. So we got to Oshner. They didn't have a call coming in saying, that, you know, um, a plane was about to land. But eventually, about 20 or 30 minutes or so, they got the call saying that he was on the way. He was 10 minutes out. It's like he they got the call, like, right before they landed. And um, initially, when my son got there, <clears throat> the doctor called us in. And told me that at that time that um, he was brain dead pretty much. And the rest of his organs were starting to fail. And Yeah, man, that's 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 so sad, man. This is this is sad. This is terrible, man. Um but if it was black folk, if he was with some black folk, man, this would have been like this wouldn't have been a story at all. We would have never known about this. That we had 72 hours on um, the ECMO machine, ECMO is like, um, sort of like dialysis mm -hmm. for the lungs. Mm -hmm. And they had to put him on a ventilator. Wow, and so I'm gonna bring in one of your family attorneys, Claudia Payne, working along Lee Merritt. That's correct. Uh, and you guys have learned more. Tell us yes. what you learned. Did he fall into the lake? Was he pushed into the lake? So initially, as the mother reported, we initially thought that he fell in in the lake. That was what the friend group, um, uh, initially reported to officers soon after and I, I guess after more investigation they soon found out that he was actually pushed by a female within that fan group friend group she actually admitted to mom as well as the police officers that she pushed him into the lake was this horseplay or was it mad or well uh in 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 the legal field, we characterize things the way we see fit. So, of mm -hmm. course, they are saying uh, horseplay. We are saying that it was a criminal, intentional push into the lake. Mm -hmm. And why didn't anybody go in after him? W well, now we've seen a video where one of the friend, one of the friends in this group, okay. attempted to go into the water briefly. Um, but they were neither one of the individuals, a part of that friend group, were the ones to retrieve him from the actual water. Okay, uh, we have video of uh, Lake Darbon, and shortly after he went in, uh, can we share that video, please? Uh, tell me what's going on here, Claudia. Okay. This is actually uh, Oshner LSU. We took this video this morning because this currently is where Chris is at this time. That's correct. correct. He's yes, within their care. Okay. Um, this is a more recent uh, photo of Chris. This is approximately three days, uh, three days ago. Mm -hmm. His uh, condition or his status. It doesn't necessarily get better, but it does change. It's different. Um, the, the 
the amount of work that the machines are doing on okay. his behalf is constant. Uh, he's, his, his lungs are said to be at 20%. So he doesn't really, his status doesn't really get better. It's just different. Is he responding? He is cognitive. He is responding okay. mentally. He cannot vocalize anything currently, okay. uh, but he he's able to give a thumbs up and a nod of the head. Oh, shit. He can do a thumbs up. He's not brain dead then. Yeah, they don't know what the fuck they're saying. They're just trying to be dramatic. <laughs> yo, if you can do a thumbs up, man, and, 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 and yo, if for 20 minutes, he couldn't have been underwater for 20 minutes if he's giving the thumbs up. That's all, all the facts they just gave us are probably wrong. Head right now. Okay, now those were the pictures that show some promise, but right. let's look at the pictures when you first saw Chris at uh, Oshner Ellis. A shoe, uh, Yolanda. Uh, these are not actually. These are the after pictures. Uh, what was your going through your mind when you first saw him? Because he was just lying there with a bunch of tubes. Um, which when I first saw yes. him, I was devastated. Like I felt as though my life had ended in that moment. Like my son is, is aspiring to be a, a medical doctor. My son is. You know, going to be a medical doctor. He has he a master's his, degree. He has a he got his master's last year wow. in biological science, mm -hmm. and he's preparing for medical school. So for this to happen to him, um, it just my son is like so sweet, this mm -hmm. most selfless being you'll ever meet, and for that to happen to him, like I was just devastated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what is it that you are fighting for now? I want uh, the young lady who pushed my son, who admitted to me in the family uh, waiting area that night at the hospital because their friend group came to the hospital still telling me the same fabricated story that he failed. I learned at that moment in the ER, the sheriff called me and he told me, are you familiar with what happened? Yeah, he was at the lake and he failed. He was like, no, um, one of the young ladies pushed him. And I'm like, who pushed him? And I started looking around the room, which one of y'all pushed him? Mm -hmm. You know, the young lady, like I did. And I was like, why would you push my son in the lake knowing he couldn't swim? Um, she said, well, ma'am, I didn't know that man couldn't swim. And I was like, who is that man? This is supposed to be amongst groups of friends, mm -hmm. right? Who is that man? Chris, everybody knows he can't swim. Mm -hmm. You know, he jokes about him not being able to swim. Um, even when we went to the restaurant, the owner of the restaurant even stated, everybody knows Chris can't swim. He's been coming here for two years. He always joking about it. I got to have on a life jacket, mm -hmm. you know, because they would go. They say he would. Well, I, not, not, not to blame him. And the woman, the girl shouldn't have pushed him in. But on another note, why didn't he learn how to swim? Yeah, son, man. <laughs> Shit. I was doing army training at one point. And we were doing water stuff. And this fucking son guy got out there and didn't know how to swim and didn't say shit until I caught him going underwater and I had to fucking pull his ass off the bottom. Yeah, it's just weird, man. Like, if you can't swim, man, stay away from lakes, man. Um, I'm not a great swimmer, man, but um, I can tread water. And at, when I was younger, I could swim a little bit. But, yeah, I'm not a great swimmer. I'm a heavy. I'm heavier now. I'm out of shape. I got a bum knee. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stay away from, you know, stay out of the water, man. My daughter, we got her swimming lessons already, man. We've taken her to the Jewish. Um, we were going to take her to the Jewish um, rec center. You know, the Jewish always got the best rec center of in our city, man. There you swim. go. That's why you sent for them. The Jewish community center. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to take her there. But we we, we went to um, when we lived in D.C., we um, when we go to DC, we 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 take her to um a little center down there to, to take swimming lessons, man. Um, and she's only three, man. We already got her, like you know, learning how to stay afloat in water and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if he's running around joking why that he can't swim, why is he standing on a pier? What if you fell in? We'll come there and go canoeing sometime, and he will always have on a life mm -hmm. jacket, so. Everybody knows if you look at some of the posts, you can see anybody that know him from elementary to middle school, Chris can't swim. Who actually pulled him from the water? Was it the restaurant worker? No, mm. it was actually uh, another patron of the restaurant, Dawson Faust, uh, that, who was, was a complete. Dawson Faust. Does that sound like a son? 
the all sin is that is ninety nine point nine percent chance is not a son man. So a white person pulled them from the water, man. Which is a heroic act, man. Um, because this is trending as some kind of racial incident. If you look at some of the posts, you can see anybody that know him from elementary to middle school, Chris can't swim. Who actually pulled him from the water? Was it the restaurant worker? No, mm. it was actually uh, another patron of the restaurant, Dawson Faust, uh, that, who was, was a complete stranger to the family and the community prior to this, but now he's their uh, hero, you know? And no, I mean, he, he deserves the honor. Yeah, so Claudia Lee is actually flying into town. What's he next is. for you all today? So uh, his legal team, Chris's legal team, consists of myself and Lee Merritt of Lee Merritt and Associates from Dallas. We have a dual interest, first to seek justice by demanding that an arrest is made, but also to hold the restaurant bar owner uh, responsible for not uh, keeping Chris safe while he was. They're going to sue the restaurant bar What the fuck? God. Whoa. How low can you go? <laughs> I, f I feel like son's... Sons believe whenever something happens to them, they could just sue any entity that's in like a 10 block radius. You know, this is the same lawyer he's representing Ralph Yall, right? The son man who's suing the homeowners association for getting shot by that old white guy when he was yeah. jiggling his um door handle. That's the oh, same lawyer, in, Lee Murray. Uh, Kansas? Uh, yeah, Kansas City, yeah. They're suing the homeowners association because he got shot in the neighborhood. Nice. So, yeah. Wow. This is all just a, a money grab. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, it's sickening. Like, but because, like, here's the thing. We, that, that bar and that guy, he's a person, man. You're destroying him. They don't think that it doesn't cross their mind that that's a person. Who started that business? Started that where Chris was welcome. Chris was always welcome. Some idiot white girl pushed him in, probably trying to be funny, thinking it was a joke. Pushed him in the um, water. Another patron came and pulled him out of the water, which is very hard. Anytime you, I saw a video before of a white guy trying to save a black guy from drowning, and the black guy pulled him under because he's just. He, he couldn't swim. He's, pan he's panicking. Exactly. He's panicking. And they both drowned. That video's on YouTube somewhere. Um, they both drowned. Yeah, he pulled the white guy under. The white guy couldn't get... The white, he was holding on to the white guy so tight. Wait, he just panicking. never let him go? And just nah, he pulled him under. He pulled Damn. the white guy under. <laughs> yeah. It, it was like he fell into, like, you know how, like, um the river... um it, it, Like, you know how, like, in the cities... I don't know if y'all have. I know you have this in Philly, yeah. Where like you might have like um, we got the river. river, yeah, the Schuylkill River, like, but you have like a store or like a um fucking you know like a boardwalk there or something, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the guy kind of fell off the boardwalk into the river, and white dude jumped in and was like trying to save him, and the black dude was 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 panicking so much he pulled both of them under and died. They both Wait, died. He he pulled two people under and killed both of them. No, he killed he killed himself and the uh, white guy who tried to okay. save him. I gotta find that video, man. I'm definitely not gonna play it on on YouTube. But yeah, um, they, it's almost like you situations like that. You, you almost gotta either wait for them to be unconscious, or you gotta just like knock them out when you get to them because they think they're dying and they're still fighting. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and it helps if the person can swim too. Like if if, if the person can't swim. Oh my God! They're literally like, yeah, they're they're using you as if you're like a light, a flotation device. Um, yeah. So patronize their business. All right. Anything else you want to add? We'll be Hold following on. the story. L let's see uh, what you said. Chris's legal team consists of myself and Lee Merritt of Lee Merritt and Associates from Dallas. We have a dual interest. First, to seek justice by demanding that an arrest is made, but also to hold the restaurant bar owner uh, responsible for not uh, keeping Chris safe while he will patronize their business. All right. Anything else you want to add? We'll be following the story. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the prayers and the concerns. Um, thank you. Please keep. And the guy who's written to the, you want to thank him, right? The guy who saved him, right? And the, the staff at the hospital that um, 
the the medevac the 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 meta the 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 people the first responders that came to the scene the people who airlifted him to the hospital and the people who helped him at the hospital right nope well well they're just doing their job out that's you know <laughs> Yo, ungrateful as some uh, people, man. Ungrateful motherfucker. Oh, we got brown sugar in the building. What's up, brown sugar? Hey. The VP. How's it going, man? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, that's great, man. Um, what do you think about this story, man? This is a sister, man. What do you think about this this story, man? Oh, oh, congratulations on your baby. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I gotta drink, give y'all some more pictures of him in the coming days, man. Thank you. Um, honestly, like I think that you said, I don't care if it was a white girl, green girl, whatever. She need to be held accountable. Like, you know, a lot of black people can't swim. That's yeah. that's murder. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I'm not arguing that. I think that you know you're a dickhead. I saw one video where some white people were standing like they were about to dive into a river. They were standing like on a cliff, mountain cliff. And some girl pushed another girl off the cliff. They're trying I'm to be funny. Yeah, the that. girl broke off. She broke her whole body up and shit. That yeah, girl and got girl, charged. And that girl didn't even get any time, hardly any time for that, I think. But she got charged. She didn't do a lot of time because it was a first offense. And just like any son man, if a son man, you know, carjack you and drag you down the street, he ain't going to get no time even for his first offense. But she got charged. She got charged. Um, yeah, um, th this is, but yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is sad, man. I wish she would have thanked the people, like, cause to, with her son being in the river, uh, for they say twenty minutes. I don't believe that. Um, if he's if he's if he's conscious now, but whatever time he was in the river, he's at the he, he's let's just say he's at the bottom of the river. To go from there to being in a hospital and be given thumbs up it took probably a hundred people to make that possible along the way i thought she did thank the man that saved him no she acknowledged him oh. she didn't thank him she just she did they, they asked her um i think she might have i might think she might have said something about him but here's the thing they said who does she have any final words there's a hundred people she could thank other than the black people who said prayers on, on Facebook. Cause she, the, the, she, when she says all the people that pray, she talking about Negroes on Facebook that sent prayers in the comment section. I, I thought he was already there. a doctor. Like the way they was talking about it. I thought he was like about to graduate medical school. Like he's, mm. he's about to start doctoring. <laughs> He well, started it. Well, you know, the reason he lived, dog, was because of those Facebook prayers, though, to be fair. That's true. That's true. Um, salute to um, um, IA. He's, okay, no, that, well, I already read that one. Um, salute to Junebug. He says, I did the... Oh, yeah, damn. We did, we did that already, too. No, salute to Cap One, man. Cap One with the super sticker. Shout out to Cap One, man. Um... Uh, yeah. Yo, I right, this, this story no, is uh, this story is crazy. I right, when you consider the fact that some people invented swimming. That's true, and swimming pools and like scuba gear and all that shit. I mean, he he deserves the honor. Yeah. So Claudia Lee is actually flying into town. What's he next is. for you all today? So uh, his legal team, Chris's legal team, consists of myself and Lee Merritt of Lee Merritt and Associates from Dallas. We have a dual interest, first to seek justice by demanding that an arrest is made, but also to hold the restaurant bar owner uh, responsible for not uh, keeping Chris safe while he would patronize their business. All right. Anything else you want to add? We'll be following the story. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the prayers and the concerns. Um, Thank you. Please keep the prayers coming. Um, he is recovering. Um, it's still a long journey, um, but I see progress. We see progress. Mm -hmm. And I thank you all for the love and the prayers. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> These niggas don't appreciate shit. <laughs> you know, it was all gliders that 
you know, made yeah, everything oh. happen to get him taken care of. So she yeah. hates that part. Yeah, yeah sounds they're, expensive. they're all judged as like you do that one little fucking white girl gets the entire planet of gliders judged collectively for this. That's what's happening here. It's like monkey sounds, boy, man. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Basically, those protesters don't think that there's hundreds of cops at every protest keeping them safe. There's goddamn um, all types of services. If somebody faints, if one of the protesters faint, they come in and they fucking take them off to get them treatment. It's, mag- it's magic. Yeah, if one of the protesters gets a huge stroke, or one of the protests, anything happens. There's all types of shit going on. And all they care about is monkey, monkey sounds, boy, for three seconds. Um, she says, I'm sorry, but the amount of open racism I've come to witness on this app, I'm convinced we're back in the 1800s. Apart from my wife, who's white, I cannot trust any whites around me. Of course. Wow. Of course. Think about his name is Unchained that. Zulu. Think about that comment, though. Like, really think about it. How... That's where we're at today, though. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. It's, he wanted to be happy, but, you know, he knows that, yeah. you know, he can only be happy with the race of people where, where like, he can't trust any one of them except but for her. But her, she's the one. She's right. Her, yeah. You know? like, like, well, it's like the no... racism, the racism is how the sons get access to, you know, white people communities. It's like yeah, he's got, yeah. that's his power, that's his power play when he enters the room full of white people with his white wife there there is no doubt that he's throwing that shit at her non-stop and she's eating that shit the you mistake I mean? we made is thinking these people as friends when they're not at all surely he told them that he couldn't swim and more than likely they knew that and intentionally pushed him in this is why i'm back advocating for separation from these people they give oh. us <laughs> oh no, no. I mean, separation. Black people, people do the same thing. We do foolish stuff to our own people and push them in front of cars. And I mean, it's they do the, black people to push other black people in the pool all the time into trains. Yeah, yeah. Listen, like I've what? I've seen some black people push people into the pool and laugh at laugh them while they're when they drowning. Drowning exactly. All the time, yeah. and they know this goes on within our our people. I mean, yeah, it was wrong, but come on, they act like we don't do that to each other. They should be focused. They should bring awareness to everybody. Hey, don't do that. Period. Regardless of the color of your skin, this is dangerous. Don't do this. They should just bring awareness and stop making it so racial. I mean, I don't know. I know they're not gonna do it, but I'm just saying. You need nah, to tell nah. these niggas if y'all can't swim, stop stay the fuck away from the water. Yeah, see this this white I girl. Love the water and I can't swim, but I'm not gonna like go deep in the water and stuff. I'm just gonna stick It's like a, a fair assumption. It's okay. This incident is kind of like the cops arresting George Floyd. You just gotta assume every son is high on fentanyl when you're arresting him. You know what I mean? So it's like dude, you gotta assume every son can't swim. That's kind of how you got to approach it as a white person. That would be a. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's some black something. people that can swim, though. I mean, yeah, that goes without saying, though. <laughs> but but even then, but even if that's the case, you still got to approach it like you know they don't. It's Is it black, dangerous? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. There's some black people with triple digit IQs, but I mean, you should approach them all like they got eighty five at best. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dangerous to have white friends? Mm, let's take the survey, man. Well, how should we answer this? Is it dangerous yeah. to have white friends? Well, it depends, right? Like, what it drugs depends on what kind of table. white people you got. Milk, what, yeah. milk heads? Yeah, like, what drugs are on the table, you know? <laughs> Look at the answers. None of the answers are no. <laughs> <They're all> like... Jesus. <laughs> People are people. I'll, I'll answer people are people. That's the best we can get, the closest we can get to know. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, 25% said people are people, man. So that's good, man. The rest think that, you know, it's 
it's it's just not safe, man. Suns will never separate from gliders, ever. Mm-mm. It's so unsafe around gliders, but they all want access to the institutions. 